What is going on guys? Get you one to the row here back with more Grand Theft Auto 5 and today we have a mod that I've been waiting to show you guys for a little bit. I probably had it installed for about a week now and uh, I wasn't sure exactly how I should present it and what exactly we should do with it, but I couldn't wait any longer. So this is, of course, the Jeep XJ Snowhawk Edition. So this thing is on tracks. It looks amazing. It handles amazingly. And its traction is absolutely insane. It's not the fastest vehicle. Right now, as you can see, we have the pedal to the metal. This trigger is all the way down. So you can see this thing is not necessarily built for speed, but what it can do really well is climb inclines like none other and uh, just traction all around. It's just a beast. You don't really need a lot of speed from a vehicle like this though. That's not what it was built for. It's not really the point of it. Uh, but let's try to maybe pick a steep incline here and see if we can get to the top. I don't want to start us off with anything too challenging, but let's see if we can uh, get up this hill here. So if you guys do happen to enjoy the stream, please drop a like down below. And of course, tell me in the chat if you did drop a like. I'm going to be shouting out as many of you guys as I can who drop a like. And also, if you are new here on my channel, subscribe if you enjoy the stream, if you enjoy my face, if you enjoy any part of this. Subscribe and let me know if you do. I'd love to give you a personal welcome to the family. So already right off the bat here, you can see the Snowhawk is just going up this without any real problems. But this is about to get a lot more steep. Oh, so that's not really the Snowhawk's fault. We just tipped backwards there. That wasn't a traction issue so much as it was just a, um, I don't know, weight distribution. We just kind of tipped back. Uh, let's see, let's see. Let's uh, see if we can find somewhere a little bit less steep and make it to the top here. And uh, I'm going to bring up the live stream chat here in just a second so I can see what you guys are saying to me here. And uh, I'm sorry I didn't stream more this week. This week has been a little bit of an irregular week for me. And <laughs> there I am talking up this Jeep and how insane its traction is. And then it's making a liar out of me. We might have started it off just a little bit too difficult. That might have been a little bit too much of a, an intense incline here. Uh, what we could do is a classic Mount Chiliad run. Let's see, where are we at on the map? Yeah, you know what, let's just set a waypoint for the top of Mount Chiliad and maybe use not too much of the trail, but kind of make our own trail as we go up. Real quick, I need to bring up the live stream chat so I can see what you guys are saying to me here. So, what is up everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I bring up the chat and I am immediately greeted by a $20 super chat from my man Onyx. Onyx, thank you so much. I wish to give John money. <laughs> Onyx, I don't know what's been into you lately with these Super Chats, dude, but I appreciate the heck out of it. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for being here and just constantly supporting me and all that good stuff. Thank you, thank you, Onyx. Onyx here has been a viewer for a viewer and a friend for quite a few years now. He was back in the uh, he was around back in the old Twitch days when we would do like eight-hour Twitch streams of GTA 5 after it came out in, like, 2013. So, uh, thank you, thank you, Onyx. Uh, Diesel, thank you for subbing. Welcome to the family. Brace, thank you for the kind words. Uh, Onyx, good point, good point. Yeah, if the degree is approaching, or if the angle's approaching 90 degrees, it doesn't matter how good your traction is, you're gonna tip back. I feel you. I see what you're saying. Um, I'm gonna have to do the pop-out chat here today. You guys are absolutely blowing up the chat, and in the current chat, I can only see like six messages at a time. So real quick, let's pause one more time. Let me get the pop-out chat going, because uh, I need to be able to see more than six messages. This just isn't working. This just isn't working. Here we go. So now I can see closer to 20 or so. So that helps. Uh, Brandon, thank you for the like, neat stuff, Maximus, Casey, Kenny, Aiden, thank you guys for the likes, thanks for subbing, welcome to the family. Alright, so, um, let's try going off to the left here, let's try going off to the left and see, see what we can do here. Uh, another reason this mod is super special, guys, you might notice, you might have noticed that this Jeep is basically the same as the uh, RC Jeep that I'm building. It's the same as the Axial SCX-10 II that I've been working on that I still need to finish. And the funny part about it is that it even has the tracks that I wanted to buy for my Axial. Um, IRL, they cost about $200. 
So after the build is done, I still plan to pick them up, but basically this is a model of uh, what I'm going to be driving in real life. It is going to be a white Jeep XJ. We're going to have the tracks on it. They're going to be red just like this. So it's actually really cool that we're basically able to replicate this real life RC truck here in GTA 5. Uh, ideally, I wish I could have finished the RC build and bought the tracks before showing you guys this mod. I think it would have tied it all together a lot better. But um, after we do get it finished, we'll have to come back and revisit this mod, for sure. Uh, Teresa, thank you for subscribing. Uh, Raging Robloxian, you said it is your first live stream, dude. Welcome to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Let's see just how this Jeep does. Um, as far as the regular path goes, this is going to be a cinch. It's going to be extremely easy. I almost want to, uh, I want to really challenge this thing. I want to really challenge this thing. Akissa, welcome back. Akissa is back with the, uh, I don't know what you call it. The, uh, I think the joking, um, what's it called? Flame? I don't know. Because I, I don't feel like Akisa actually dislikes me, but all of her messages here in the chat are just so, uh... <laughs> not the nicest. But that's okay. I'm just glad to have you here, Akisa. Welcome to the stream. Subscribe a long time ago. Do you still remember me? Cody Villanova. I feel like I do remember you. I feel like I remember that last name. Geraldo, thanks for dropping the like. Aaron, thank you for subbing. Zion, thanks for subbing. Casey, Ethan... Thank you guys all for stopping. Welcome to the family. Gabriel, you as well. Edwin. Guys, before I forget, I want to let you know that I'm not going to be streaming on um, on Monday. Monday is the day that I have to drive to Cleveland for a doctor's appointment, and that's about an hour and a half drive for me. So by the time I drive there and get back, there's probably just not going to be a time uh, be time for a stream on Monday. So after today, I'll probably come back with my next video on Tuesday, probably not over the weekend, um, but we'll see. Can you chrome your Jeep? We probably could. We probably could chrome it. It'd probably look kind of ridiculous. Uh, oh, can we get up this? Ah, man. I wish I could remember where I was, guys, but after I installed this mod, I just did a quick test, and I could not believe how steep of an incline this thing was climbing. I mean, it must have been... I think if the incline was one degree steeper, it wouldn't have worked. And I wish I could find that same mountainside because it just showcased the Jeep XJ so, so, so well. Dakota Miller, thank you for the kind words. Cool ping, you finally got spin tires. Glad to hear it. The man, the myth, the legend, how's it going? Where's the grill? How's league? I've been playing quite a bit. Yeah, I saw that you've been on, Isaac. Um... I didn't do Foreman Friday today because my last video was on Monday, and the video before that was a Foreman Friday. I didn't want to have Foreman Friday, then a video, then another Foreman Friday that close. Um, once we get into a more regular schedule, we'll do more uh, regular Foreman Fridays. But as you guys know, my life's been a little crazy lately. My life has been a little irregular lately, so it's been kind of hard to stick with the schedule. It's just been a, a little, a little crazy. How am I feeling, by the way? I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay. Feeling a little odd. Maybe not fully like myself. It's kind of hard to explain. It's kind of kind of hard to put into words. But for the most part, I'm getting by. I'm getting by. Uh, Mia, you said you are going to sub? Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Gitchy sub, I do remember you. Anybody with my name and their name is usually somebody that I can remember. Sorry for what I said, I love you, and try to say Trevon, that's my real name. Akissa is my sister's name. Well, Trevon, thank you for, uh, for the kind words, man. Thank you for deciding to let me in on your life a little bit. Tell me your real name. Now I know that you are not actually your sister. You are, in fact, a, uh, a stand-up young man. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we've got to find somewhere more difficult to climb. Mount Chiliad was basically the first test here. And as I expected, we were able to fly right up it. Uh, we could change the color on this thing, but I don't know if we really want to. I don't know. Here it is chromed out, as somebody asked. Uh, the chrome looks a little silly, in my opinion. And it reflects the snow, so it actually almost looks like a white paint job. 
Um, but I'm, I'm probably not going to stick with the chrome there. The gray actually doesn't look bad. Um, a lot of these colors don't look bad at all. Even red, uh, lime green might actually look kind of sick. The orange looks pretty cool too. Let me know in the chat, guys. What, what color do you like on this thing? What color? Dakota, thanks for the kind words. Caden, thanks for the like. Daniel, thanks for subbing, dude. Uh, for now, let's just get back to the white. Where's it at? Where's it at? There it is. There it is. Can you shoot some people? <laughs> we could probably do that. Do you play the draft mode on League? I usually see you play blind pick. When will you be on next? We gotta play. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be on today. Tonight is my gig, guys. Tonight at 9 o'clock, I am playing with my cover band, and we're playing a three-hour gig. We're playing something like 37 songs. Uh, last night at practice, we played 30 of the 37 songs, so unfortunately my fingers are already just, like, kind of killing me. That's the one bad thing about playing bass. The, the strings are so fat, and like, you might think to yourself, oh, big, wide, fat strings, that would hurt less than a guitar? No. Playing bass hurts a lot more than playing guitar, in my opinion. Um, what are you guys saying? Blue, red, blue, green, black. Can you lift it? Good question. Let's see what happens when we try to lift this. That's actually a very good question. We'll find out in a little bit what happens when we try to lift this thing. Nice, nice. Oh, getting getting a little crazy with it. That is not where I meant to go. Are we going to be stuck in this tree? No. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're getting through it. Yeah, three-hour gigs are exhausting, guys. The first hour goes by kind of quick. The second hour, you start feeling the exhaustion, the pain in your fingers. And then by the third hour... My back is just killing me. As you might imagine, I don't have the strongest frame. I don't have the strongest core. So to stand with a base around my neck and shoulders for three hours is pretty exhausting on everything from my back to my fingers to my legs. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I've i thought about not being in a band before. I've thought about quitting. But I think it's the kind of thing that I need to do. You know, if I, if I would quit this band... What do I have keeping me attached to the outside? <laughs> you know what I mean? It sounds kind of silly, but like, really though. Um, this is my only job, so I don't leave the house to do a job. It's like, if I'm not at least in a band, then I'm going to lose all connection to the outside world. So I, I feel like it's also good for discipline. It kind of keeps me doing something uh, productive. All right, so what do you guys want to see next from the Snowhawk? What would you like to see next? I, I do want to try to find some more difficult mountain climbing, but it's hard to find a mountain that, uh, that we can get up but isn't too hard. You know what I mean? It's got to be like that perfect, that perfect in-between area. Oh, for some reason, the cinematic camera... Oh, not working out. Not working out. Yo, Scott, thanks for the kind words, as always. Can you stance it just for fun? Yeah, we'll try lifting it, and we will try stancing it. Uh, where do I go to college? I actually already graduated college. I graduated from Youngstown State University. Dude, you know you're the nicest YouTuber ever. <laughs> thanks, Cody. Probably too nice for my own good. I've been told that before. I've been told that I'm going to get taken advantage of one day because I'm too nice. Yeah, Yeah, I feel like some people out there need to be too nice. No, I mean, obviously I don't want to be taken advantage of, but uh, there's not enough nice people in the world. I don't know. Scott, I'm doing great, man. All right, so let's, uh, let's try lifting this. Let's try stancing it. Let's see kind of what it looks like here. Let's see what we can do with it. Um, so this car is gonna just have to wait for me. Or, okay, alright, there goes a police chase. Let me take a sip of my water real quick. When is Foreman Friday? We'll probably do another Foreman Friday next Friday. We're not gonna be doing it today. Like I said, two videos ago was already Foreman Friday, so I didn't want to go Foreman Friday 
video another Foreman Friday. I'd like them spread out a little bit more. Um, if I had made more videos this week, that wouldn't have been a problem. But like I said, this week was kind of a weird week. Uh, okay, so, suspension menu. Let's see what we can do with this thing. So, front height. I gotta make sure I'm still in the frame here. I don't want to be leaning out of the camera with this new position. There we go, there we go. That's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Suspension menu. Uh, front height. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so we can stance it. Let's actually stance it first. Alright, so we can go pretty low, and then for some reason it glitches through the ground. So let's try down there. Rear height. What do we have that at? Negative point oh two. Alright, so this looks pretty ridiculous. This is a stanced, lowered Jeep XJ on tracks. Um, we could give it some camber or something, but I feel like the camber would just look stupid with tracks. Why would you ever camber tracks? Um, I played trumpet. That was awesome, Christian. I played trumpet from 5th um, to 8th grade. I was in band from 5th to 8th grade, and then in high school I quit band because I did not want to uh, go to every single football game. It's required if you're in band to go to every single football game. Yo, Gitch, are you trying to focus on GTA? I think me and a couple other people would prefer more spin tires and beam on G, but of course, if you're trying to focus on GTA, it's fine. Real name is Paul, by the way. Broken wrists. Thanks for letting me know, dude. Um, that's actually a great question. Uh, I was talking to my roommate the other day, and he was encouraging me. He's like, you really gotta start playing some other games, and I'm just like, I know, I just, I don't know what to upload, I don't know what people wanna see in BeamNG, and like, I think I just gotta experiment more, and not give up immediately if something doesn't work out well. Uh, let's try to hit some of these mountains over here. Let's try to hit some of these mountains. You know what I mean, though? Like, I'll try something new, then I'll give it maybe, like, one or two chances, and then if I'm not satisfied with the results, I just stop doing it. And so, my roommate was like, here's here's the way that, uh, the analogy that he used for my YouTube channel. And I wasn't offended, because he was actually really right. He was like, it's like you're driving a car, but you're only looking two feet in front of yourself, when you need to be looking, like, 200 feet. And I was like, that's actually really well put. So, yeah, I do want to start uploading more games, like you said, more BMNG, more spin tires. Uh, we gotta wait for this train. Even mobile games. I want to do Off-Road Outlaws, I want to do Gigabit Off-Road, um, all things that I want to get into here, and I think next week is finally the week. I've got that doctor's appointment Monday, but after that, I've got no more excuses. I'm gonna start working out. We're going to start working out, we're going to start eating more, we're going to start gaining some weight, building some muscle, and also just uh, being more consistent with YouTube. Yo, David, thank you, man. David Rodriguez, I appreciate that. Um, we could also go to the swamp. Yeah, I do want to start doing more vlogs, too, but that's the thing. I don't want to set my ambitions too high, because... I might be making too much work for myself. I don't know if I can keep up with vlogging and like one to two videos per day on top of that. I might need to start paying people to help me, um, do more voting polls, definitely need to do that. I don't want to poll too much though, because you'd be surprised how quickly people get angry. Um, guys, let's lift this real quick. Let's lift this. But anyways. You'd be surprised how quickly people get angry about, like, posting too much. Like, if you post even too many polls, you'll start losing subscribers because people view it as you, like, spamming their sub box. So, I could probably post at least a few per week, though. Probably at least a few per week. Um, I just gotta find that happy medium, I guess. Um... But I, oh, maybe I need to also hold myself in lower expectations. I hold myself to a high standard, and as a result, I get stressed out easily. Um, 
I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, I'd say. I, I do not want to do something subpar. If I'm going to do it, I want to do it right. But as a result, like I said, I get stressed out easily. But I think I just need to take a step back, take a chill pill, and just just do it. Just do it. Gishi, what was your first car? My first car was a complete oil burner. 2000 Toyota Corolla. It burned through a quart of oil every week. It didn't leak it. There was never oil puddles under my car. It would burn it and leave a blue cloud behind me. It was such a piece, piece of crap. I drove that for probably two years. And then, uh, thankfully, through YouTube, I was able to upgrade to my current Mazda 3. Um, I mean, when you first did Spin Tires and BMG, people hated those at first. People like to put content creators in a space, and when they leave that space, people don't like it. It takes time. Onyx, that was very well put. And I guess that's what I'm kind of trying to realize. Um, another thing is that, like, I gotta stop looking at the day-to-day -day stats. You know, like, I'll, I'll look at how this video did on this day, and then allow it to affect me where really I need to take a step back, look at the bigger picture, and, uh, you know, just look at everything from more of a macro perspective and less of a micro perspective. Does that make sense? Rodriga, it's Rodrigue. Really? It's just pronounced Rodrigue? I've never seen Rodrigue pronounced like Rodrigue, but... I will take your word for it. It is your last name. You would know best. How how do you not pronounce the U-E on the end? I took three years of Spanish, and I do not understand how you could not pronounce the U-E. But, hey, if you said it, it must be true, because you know what your name is. <laughs> uh, we're going to teleport over here to the swamp. We're going to teleport over here to the swamp. I remember the Corolla. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh. Yo, what is up, Evan? Alright, alright, where are we at here? So, does the water actually get snow on it? I'm not sure, or does it still look like water? So this is the lifted Jeep Snowhawk. I think I'm going to take it back down, though. In fact, maybe let's just spawn in a new one. Um, nah, maybe we don't need to spawn in a new one. Let's see here. Suspension menu, front height... Let's go, uh, I don't know what the default is, it's probably somewhere around here. Rear height, negative 0.4. Let's try that. I feel like that looks to be about the stock height. Uh, sometimes you have to see what your viewers would like to see, even though you may think we won't like something, we might if you just ask, such as polls. Isaac, yet another good point. Thank you for the uh, for the input. How do I make it snow where it snows on the disc? I don't know. If you're on disc, I don't think you can. If you're playing from console, I think you just gotta wait until they make it uh, winter time in GTA Online. Since I'm playing on PC, though, I'm able to add snow through the uh, through the mod menu. Ah, um, Modi! Thank you, thank you, thank you for the kind words. Guess what, DMs? Gitchy didn't check. Uh, dude, what is wrong with me? That gives you an idea of how little I use Twitter. I have not gone on Twitter in months. I do not like Twitter. Twitter's just... There are very few Twitter accounts that are worth reading, in my opinion. Uh, most of Twitter is, like, everybody's breaking whim. It's like, oh, I just had a random thought. Let me share that with the world. Oh, I just had another one, and another one, and another one. Like, I don't know. Even Twitter realized that their, uh, that their, their idea of the whole thing wasn't working. They doubled their character limit. They completely changed the original purpose of the website, and that was to have tweets be concise and short, and there they doubled the character limit because they realized that their own users didn't even like their setup. I hate Twitter. In case you can't notice, I do not like Twitter. 
at all. <laughs> There's very few accounts worth following on Twitter. Can you take Snow off? It is not working for me. What do you mean it's not working for you? How is it not working for you? The stream isn't working for you? Look at this thing. It's able to climb up anything like a beast, as long as it doesn't tip backwards. Hi, I'm 63. Austin, are you telling me that you're 6 foot 3, or are you telling me that you're 63 years old? Which one is it? It's okay, he doesn't look at my Discord messages either. Wait, Onyx, have you been messaging me on Discord? I'll be honest, I have, like, no idea how to use Discord. I know how to join my friends' calls, uh, like if we're playing League together. Besides that, I don't know where to find friend requests. I don't know where to find personal messages. I need to learn how to use Discord. <laughs> I know, like, the bare-bones basics just to get by. How do you get mods on disk? You don't. You don't. You need something called, like, a JTAGged Xbox or, like, a flashed Xbox. And I think that's only on 360 anyway. If you're on console, I think you're out of luck there. Uh, Gitchy, love your channel. And by the way, hashtag pray for Mark, Raging Robloxy, and thank you, dude. I do not know what that hashtag is, though. Hashtag pray for Mark. I do not... I'm not familiar with that. Yeah, the snow is lagging for me? That's impossible. If your stream is lagging, then it's just the stream. But me turning off snow is not going to uh, stop the lag. Can I message you on Twitter after the stream? Sure, I'll probably forget to check. Um, after I end the stream today, guys, I cannot hang out long, though. I'm basically ending the stream. I'm getting changed out of these sweatpants and stuff. Um, then my friend is picking me up. We are driving 20 minutes to downtown Youngstown, and, uh, for some reason we have to be there at 7 o'clock, even though we don't go on till 9. It's like, I don't go on till 9 o'clock, what am I doing, uh, going on, getting there at 7. Um, would you do another video with Ben? Ben, wait, I've never shown my friend Ben on stream, have I? Are you thinking about Matt? I have a few times most of it was trolling or me reminding you of something you told me to remind you about. Okay, I'll take a look at Discord next time I'm on. Maybe I just haven't tried to learn it yet. Um, am I even friends with you yet on there, Onyx? I feel like a jerk. I, I don't think that we're even actually contacts on Discord yet. Gotta put on your leather pants and vest with studs on it. You got it, Jeremy. How did you know, my man? Uh, another thing that I'm going to do more, guys, is... I know I've been talking about this for a while. <laughs> That's, like, how I start every one of my uh, sentences. I know I've been saying I'm going to do this for a while, guys. No, but for real. I'm going to start sprinkling in more videos and maybe a slightly lower ratio of live streams. Like, um... This video, for example, this might be better if this were a 20-minute video instead of an hour-long live stream. You know? I can edit it down, I can edit out some of the fluff, we can have more of a defined objective. Because um, a lot of people don't like live streams. They don't like watching me read the chat, they don't like watching me give shout-outs for people liking. You know, they don't care about that stuff, they just want to see quality content. So, I think what I'll probably start to do is... Um, Start uploading a few more videos, lower the ratio of streams just a little bit, and uh, hopefully be able to make my content a little bit more digestible. Because I know that, like, who has time to watch an hour live stream every day? Nobody. Nobody has the, uh, nobody has the attention span for that. Downtown Youngstown sounds like a song. It kind of does. Or a band. Interesting. When will there be a like spike? You're right, we haven't done one yet. Just barely got out. My real name is AJ. Well, hello there, AJ. No, but if you have a common server, you can DM someone on Discord. Uh, since we're both in your server, I was able to send. Not sure if you get notifications for a non-friend, though. Got it. 
What are you driving in real life? In real life, I have a 2012 Mazda 3 hatchback. Um, I think it was... It was one of the final years that they did the old body style. They might have done a 2013 body style in the same fashion, but I think 2015 they switched over to their new body style, which overall looks pretty decent, but I do like mine. It has kind of like more of a sporty look, almost borderline Subaru type look. Um, I like it. I like it. It's incredibly, incredibly fuel efficient. Something like uh, 39 miles to the gallon on the highway. Jamiria Brown, welcome back. You said you liked and subbed. Uh, thanks for dropping that like, Jamiria. Except for me, I have no life. I'm always here. That's not true. There's plenty of times when you're not here, Isaac. <laughs> I mean, you're probably here more often than you're not here. But, uh, you seem like you have a life. You're not on League all day like I am. Have you considered doing stream highlights videos for people who don't want to watch an hour video? Onyx, that is another good idea that my roommate has also suggested to me. He's like, I don't know why you don't just stream to Twitch and then upload the highlights to YouTube. I'm like, I don't know why. That sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> no, but that's, that's a very good idea. Um... Yeah, I, I kind of want to start streaming to Twitch more, too, but I'm afraid that I'll just do a week of Twitch streams, and then, like, people will subscribe to me, and then I'll never subs or then I'll never stream on Twitch again. And then I'll just feel like a, a jerk. I'll feel like a scammer. It's like, oh, well, these 15 people subbed to me, and now I haven't been streaming. Like, I'm just afraid that I'm not going to be able to keep up with it. Um, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, yo, Andrew, what's up, dude? Do we have mods here? We do have mods in the chat. Could a mod maybe take action when people are spamming hi, 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 hi over and over and over again? I could, uh, I could do it real quick. Justin Johns, I'll say hello back to you, dude, but I'm also going to put you in timeout because spamming hi back to back ten times isn't okay. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm sorry, dude. I'm not trying to be, uh, you know, be mean over here, but you know how it goes. I gotta be able to read my chat, and I can't read my chat very well when the same message is being spammed over and over and over and over. What is your Discord username? Uh, I'm not sure. Something like Gitchy1230. Uh, we are gonna have a Discord set up for my channel here. Um, I still gotta get that done with Onyx. I think, like, every night when I think about it, I don't know why, like, I don't like to work at night. Once it's nighttime, I just like to chill and relax. And so I view setting up the Discord as, like, working, and then I'm like, oh, I'll do that tomorrow. But the problem is I just never do it. I just keep putting it off, and, uh... I think I gotta work on my discipline, guys. That's if you haven't noticed, if if you somehow haven't noticed that about me yet, I could definitely work on my discipline. After I graduated college and started working from home, uh, my discipline got a little bit weaker, for sure. Sorry, I was typing when he said that and didn't notice. Not a problem, Onyx. Not a problem. Don't, uh, don't ban anybody. Don't, like, straight up ban people. Just start with a timeout, and if they do it again, maybe time them out one more time. But if it's, like, maybe, like, a three strikes thing. If they get their three chances and they still just want to come back and spam, maybe then consider banning? I don't know. I hate that part of the map. That is so deceiving. It looks like you can drive right up onto that rock, but it's actually just, like, a wall under the water. By the way, did you check out my Insta? Isaac, I did, dude. Those are some sick, beautiful pictures. I don't consider myself a photographer, but I do think I have an eye for photography. I can identify good pictures and separate from the bad pictures. 
and uh, you've got some beautiful nature photography. A lot of just really good uh, colors and everything that you're able to put into there and a lot of contrast between your lights and your darks and all that good stuff. Really, uh, really good looking stuff, Isaac. Keep it up. How's the RC Jeep build going? Um, I found out that I can order the RC paint online, so I'm just gonna do that. Forget vlogging the trip to the hobby shop. I could do that, but I think I'm just gonna order the paint on Amazon. It'll get delivered to my house next week, and then maybe next week we can finally make some good progress on the RC build. Whoa, that's a cool Jeep. Holy f f f <laughs> What is up, Pickle Rick? Welcome back. <laughs> welcome back, welcome back. Uh, I can usually always watch your Saturday streams. I never stream on Saturdays, dude, so I actually have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, guys, seriously. I'll plug your Instagram, Isaac. Isaac, what is your your Instagram? Feel free to put that in the chat, man. I'll read it out for you. Isaac here uh, photographs a lot of, seems like mostly nature. You had the uh, your first Milky Way picture. Um, a lot of like sunsets and just nature, a little bit of wildlife. Um, I was really able to appreciate the Milky Way picture because my family has a cabin in the Allegheny National Forest and there's very little light pollution. So it's one of the few places that you can actually look up at the sky and just see this band of light just stretching across the sky. And it's, it's mind-bending to think that you are literally staring into the disk of the Milky Way galaxy. Like, it's pretty mind-bending. I don't know what else to call it. It's, uh, it can almost get a little existential. It's pretty cool. Ben was in a Beam NG stream. Oh my gosh, George, I can't believe you remember that, dude. Wasn't that the Beam NG stream that blew up and got like millions upon millions of views? I bet Ben would like being in my streams. Um, yeah, maybe I should involve my, my friends a little bit more. Um, oh, you know what? I'm the only... Uh, no, 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 no. This, this place is only big enough for one of us. I'm sorry, but, uh... <laughs> I love how they just hold on to the door handle. That's hilarious. Um, yo, no problem, Isaac. Yeah, so, guys, check out Isaac's uh, Instagram there. At Isaac underscore JM underscore photography. Isaac, you've actually already got a pretty good start on followers, too. You're, uh, you're really growing your Instagram, dude. Good job. Totally. Alright, I think we're stuck here. I think we're stuck. And we've got two wanted stars. Oh. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna have to teleport out of here. Can you play Fortnite? Today could have been a Fortnite Friday, but we'll probably do Fortnite next Friday. Um... Maybe next Friday we'll do Fortnite Friday and Foreman Friday, but maybe this time keep them separate. I don't know. Um, yeah, Isaac, looking at your uh, Instagram made me think that I should get a little bit more into photography. Because I, I do like it, I appreciate it, and I like looking at it and stuff like that. I don't know why I haven't gotten into it myself yet. Um, I don't know. And also just, uh, where are we trying to go right now? I'm like thinking about more, more about the discussion here in the chat than the game in front of me. Um, let's explore out here. I don't quite know what to expect out here. But um, I also kind of want to get a little bit more into filmmaking and I was thinking that maybe I could do that with vlogs. Vlogging might be a good way to, I don't know, express myself filmmaking. Because if I do vlogs, I don't want it to just be one of these vloggers. Hey guys, today we're driving in the car. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure you guys are familiar with Casey Neistat. I'm not looking to get to that level of 
filmmaking because his vlogs are just like beautiful, but somewhere more between his style and the regular style, where like you know you you sprinkle in some good little tidbits, some aesthetically pleasing sunset time lapses, some drone footage, and maybe uh, go the extra mile to get a good shot, you know? Because I've noticed in his vlogs, like, there have been times where he set down the camera, walked away, and had to walk all the way back just to pick up his camera. Of course, he edits that part out, but it's all for the shot. So I, I kind of want to experiment with a little bit of that type of thing. Um, this is what the SCX-10 is going to look like, Pickle Rick, yes it is, and that's why I'm so excited to show it to you guys. I'm actually going to buy these tracks for the SCX-10 too. Um, they're going to be about 200 bucks, but I'm going to I'm gonna do it, it'll be worth it. Unfortunately, all of our snow is melting away here, so I, I already missed out on the big snow of the year, unfortunately. Um, yeah. Maybe we'll get one more snow in February or March when the build is done. I kind of hope we do, so that we can test the tracks in the snow. But even for mud, I bet the tracks are pretty fun to use on mud and just general off-roading as well. How many wins do you have on Fortnite? Earl, not too many. Um, squad wins, I've got a handful, but I was probably being carried by my team. Duo wins, my roommate Kevin and I have... I think one duos a handful of times. Solo wins, I don't think I have a single solo win. I'm not that good. I'm not that good. Uh, what do we got going on in the chat here? I got a name for vlogging Gitchy Extra. Gitchy Extra? Oh, for the vlogging name. I see. Guys, I've been asking this a little bit lately. What should I name my vlogging channel? Throw out all the ideas you have. Throw out any idea you can think of. What is a good vlogging name? I've been toying with Gitchy IRL. I've been toying with Gitchy Vlogs. Um, I still kind of like Gitchy IRL, but Gitchy Vlogs might roll off the tongue better. And there still might be some people that surprisingly don't know what IRL means. But pretty much everybody knows what a vlog is, except for maybe, like, old people. Tell me uh, your names for the, for the vlogging channel. Because that's basically the only thing holding back the vlogs. Is like, I just need to decide on a name. Um, unfortunately, uh, due to YouTube's new monetization rules, I'm not going to be able to monetize the vlog channel. So I won't be able to make any money off of the vlogs. I'll basically just be doing it for free, which, I mean, YouTube's not all about the money. Um, I do this because I love it, and it just so happens that I can do it as a job. But um, I'm going to have to accept that when I start the vlogging channel, I won't see a penny from it for a long time. And I accept that. I accept that. It'll... Uh, It'll have to get to, I think, like a thousand subs and however many hours of watch time first. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Uh, Gitchy Vlogs? The Savage Vlogging Gitchy? <laughs> uh, IRL Gitchy Vlogs on the internet for reels on the World Wide Web. Yo, 1230 Onyx. I think I'm going to go with that one. Uh, Life of Gitchy? Not bad. I hadn't considered Life of Gitchy. Gitchy Shorts, not bad. Emil Soberg, I do remember you. Welcome back, my Swedish brethren. Are you Swedish or Norwegian? What are you? Um, what's up, Sean? Yeah, I'll see you later, Justin. Um, 21 vlogs. But what do I do when I'm on vlog number 22? Then what happens? Oh, I can't believe we didn't explode there. IRLE, IRLE Gitchy. 
Life of John sounds more appropriate. Life of John isn't bad, but I do want cohesive branding. You know, I want the Gitchy branding in both, so there's no confusion as to who I am or if I'm the same person, whatever. Uh, I think keeping the Gitchy branding is probably a good idea. The Glitchy Gitchy Vids. <laughs> I kind of like that. Let's, uh, let's get a police chase going here before we wrap this up. Because I can't stream for much longer. Probably going to stream for about ten more minutes, guys. Then I'll have to end the stream. Uh, Isaac, thank you, dude, for the one dollar super chat. I appreciate the heck out of that, man. As always, thank you for being here. Thank you for your generosity and just supporting the stream in more ways than one. Thank you, Isaac. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we gotta get a uh, like a league team going of like me, uh, you, Isaac, B Hags, Onyx. I can't remember. Do you play League Onyx or you have played? Um, Emil, you are Norwegian. Awesome. We joke. My mom jokes that in our family we have. Tell me, Emil, is there a thing in Norway about the Norwegian chin? Because it's funny, I'm, I'm a pretty skinny guy. I'm like 6'3 and like 160 pounds. That's why I'm trying to gain some weight. But I still have what my mom calls the Norwegian double chin. And she has it, my sister has it, and we're all thin. Is that actually a thing in Norway? Like, is it known that Norwegians have, like... You know, the, the Norwegian double chin? Because my mom's always joked about it, but I'm curious to hear from an actual Norwegian if that's really a thing. Um, Gitchy Vlogs. I, I think we might go with Gitchy Vlogs. We might go with Gitchy Vlogs. Let me get a wanted level here real quick. I'm going to just rain hell down on the freeway. Speaking of branding, when are we getting a shirt with your logo on it? Ah. <sighs> That's where my perfectionism is slowing me down again. I want to do Gitchy merch, but like I really want the designs to be on point, and I basically am allowing that to cripple me. Instead of creating the designs, I'm like being a perfectionist before I've even designed them. I need to just get better at that whole thing. Gitchy. Just Gitchy. Gitchy gang, Gitchy gang, Gitchy gang, Gitchy gang. Is your Snapchat working? Yes, it is. I just haven't really been Snapchatting much. Um, I'll Snapchat like for a day, and then the next day it's like not fun anymore. <laughs> uh, can you play PUBG? It's just like Fortnite, but more realistic. I've never played PUBG, but I would I would look into it. Amelia, you said you don't know. Amelia, how do you not know, dude? It's either a thing that people talk about in Norway or it's not. The fact that you don't know would suggest to me that it's not really a thing and my mom may have just like heard that somewhere one time. Because you would know. You live in Norway. If it were a thing, you would know it. Right? Skidstad, or Skistad, you said no, you're also from Norway. Thank you for letting me know. I'll have to let my mom know that, uh, my Norwegian viewers had no idea what I was talking about. Gitchy Ricky. Yeah, that's gonna be the new vlog channel name. Gitchy Ricky. <laughs> what? I am Gitchy, I am making blogs, I like turtles, I also like food and video games. That's pretty accurate. A while back, didn't you have a shirt design? I did, but it, it was a shirt that said Get Wrecked. I mean, it didn't even really pertain to my branding in any way. Get Wrecked isn't even a thing that I say. I think that whole thing really turned me off to the idea of merch. And let me tell you guys why. I did, the only shirt that I ever sold was a few years ago, and it said Get Wrecked, and I changed the font up a little bit so the G like carried through over the text and everything. And I took pre-orders. I said, okay, how many of you guys are going to buy one of these shirts? Like, please don't say yes if you want to buy a shirt. Say yes if you are planning to buy a shirt. And so we had something like 60 pre-orders or something. I was going to sell a bunch of the shirts. It was going to bring in a nice uh, little bit of money for the channel. I finally 
I make the shirts and everything, I launch the campaign, and you know how many I sell? I sold three, and two of them were my mom's boyfriend. So technically we sold one after getting something like 60-something pre-orders, and then I think I was turned off to merch from then on. It's like, okay, why did everybody tell me that they're planning to buy these shirts and then nobody did? So then I was like, alright, forget the whole merch thing. This is not working. Maybe it's finally time to revisit it. Um, I just didn't know why so many people said that they were planning to buy a shirt and then not do it. I don't know. You're making excuses not to launch a clothing line, don't get OCD, get in the way of everything. Ramsey, you might be right, dude. Maybe I actually legit have, like, OCD in a way. Because maybe it's... It might just be worse than just being perfectionism. It might be borderline OCD. Ramsey, you might have just taught me something about myself. <laughs> you might have taught me something. I'll, uh... I'll have to look into that. And learn to change my habits and relax a little bit. Like five of them sold and honestly didn't really have anything to do with the channel, which is probably why I like five sold. I still have the one I bought somewhere. Onyx, I'm so glad you were one of the people that bought one. I still appreciate that, dude. Gishy literally Snapchat like once every couple of weeks. Yeah, I should Snapchat more often. I, uh, I don't know. Some days I don't have anything to really talk about or show. Do you ever watch back your older streams? I have, yes. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird to watch back. Kill the cops. Yeah, again, I'm so distracted by the chat and just chatting with you guys that I'm kind of neglecting the gameplay here. I should probably focus more on, like, uh, more on what I'm doing here. Your mom has a boyfriend. Yes, she does. My parents got divorced, like, 12 years ago. Um... It wasn't, it wasn't as bad as it could be. I've always said that as far as divorce goes, my parents were really good about it. They never fought in front of my sister and I. They never yelled in front of us. They never put us through anything that we shouldn't go through. They're always like very civil. And even today, they still get along really well. So um, despite them being divorced, I'm grateful that they were very civil about it. And they never made us watch them fight. So... Yeah, um, to be honest, if my parents never got divorced, I probably wouldn't have ever done YouTube because my dad lives in a place that wasn't able to get high-speed internet until just recently. So if they didn't get divorced, I probably I wouldn't have had broadband. I couldn't have uploaded videos. So in a way, I kind of owe my YouTube career to my parents' divorce. Isn't that weird? It's weird how uh, a seemingly bad thing can blossom into... A positive thing, you know? Ah, oh, Whitbeck, thank you, dude, for, uh, for subbing. Yeah, guys, I do apologize that I'm driving around completely aimlessly today, uh, just reading the chat. I've got a lot on my mind. I've got to play a three-hour gig tonight that i got to leave for as soon as I'm done streaming. Um, then Monday, I've got this doctor's appointment that I have to drive an hour and a half for. I've just got a lot of stuff on my mind right now, so rather than focusing on the game. I'd rather just kind of chill with you guys and chat. Uh, starting next week, though, I am gonna... We're gonna upload some mobile games. I'm either gonna do Off-Road Outlaws or Gigabit Off-Road. I'm not sure what yet. Um, I'm gonna order the RC paint, so hopefully maybe we can get the RC build back into motion next week. Um, there's just so many things that I want to do with my channel. Too many things, too many things. Yo, Super Rebel! Dude, welcome! Super Rebel, I was just checking out your channel three days ago? It was either two or three days ago. I was like, I wonder what Super Rebel's up to these days. And I saw that your new Superman videos, or no, your new Spider-Man videos have been doing super well, dude. So congrats on that. Keep those going. Uh, thanks for swinging by, man. Glad to have you here. Guys, if you do not know who Super Rebel is, check out his channel. Oh gosh, we're going into the water, aren't we? <laughs> he has been, uh, he uploads all kinds of games. Lately, he's been covering the new Spider-Man game coming out. So if you're into that, definitely check him out. For sure. Matthew Festa, thanks for subbing. 
I had to watch my parents fight before they got divorced to the point that the when they told us they were divorcing, my response was cool. Ah, I feel for you, Onyx. That's, that's probably how most divorces go. I'd say I was probably in the minority having civil parents. I feel like most parents probably are not very civil through a divorce. Um, I'm stuck down here, aren't I? I? I don't think I am... <laughs> I don't think I'm getting out of here. We might have to teleport for this one, or maybe get out and run. I think the chin thing is Sweden. Maybe you're right, George. Thanks for, uh, thanks for your input, man. Yo, Bones, what is up, dude? Welcome back. Any mods you're excited for? Um, I've got a few mods that I am excited for. Um, let me show you guys one of the upcoming mods. I've got a few that I've already got installed. Did I ever show you guys this one? <laughs> did I ever show you guys this one? I don't know if I did. I think I'm going to download a Spongebob skin before we do this one. Um... Nice. I wonder if we can lift the Patty Mobile. Let's just test this out real quick. I gotta end the stream very soon. I gotta end the stream very soon. My friend's gonna be here any second to pick me up. Uh, Offroad Outlaws is more popular, but Gigabit Offroad has better graphics. Cool. Thanks for uh, letting me know. I'll keep that in mind. I'll probably do both. I'll probably do both. Um, I hope Super Rebel was still here to uh, hear me read his message. I hope he didn't peace out too soon. Gitchy, sometimes you say things you're going to do. Message retracted. It got retracted in the middle of me reading it. Hold on, hold on. Am I able to still view it? I am not. Isaac, if you retracted it yourself, dude, you don't have to worry about offending me. Like, honest input is what I need. So I don't know if you retracted it yourself and you're like, ah, forget it, I probably shouldn't say that. No, like, I, I seriously appreciate honesty. You're not going to offend me. Uh, I need honest feedback now more than ever. So, um, But yeah, if it's pertaining to how I keep saying I'm going to do things and never do them, that's probably pretty damaging to my, my channel and my community. You're right. It's it's not good to be known for not carrying through on your word. It's not good to be known for never doing the things that you say you're going to do. It just creates a... I don't know. It, it's not good for uh, the relationship between myself and my subs. The paddy wagon. That's right. Real quick, let's see if we can lift the paddy wagon. Let's see, let's see. Um... I do the exact same thing. It hit me hard how we go way back to 2013, but you're still smashing it. Love the off-road videos. Thank you, dude. Thank you, thank you. I'd like to be smashing it a little harder than I have been lately. Uh, I haven't been working as hard as I should be. I'll say that. It's time to start uh, putting a little bit more time into YouTube, you know? But uh, I'm glad to see that you are still uploading, too. When I, uh, when I checked out your channel, I was like... Awesome, he's still going. Because a lot of people uh, grow apart from YouTube, you know? They, they kind of stop doing it, but not us. We're still going. Okay, so we can lift the Patty Mobile. That is good to see. Real quick, let's just see. Are we able to change the tires on it? Vehicle options, vehicle mod menu. Real quick, guys, let's get the first like spike of the stream going, because i got to end the stream in, like... A minute or two. We're gonna end it quick today. So drop those likes down below. Tell me in the chat that you did. Um, well, you always say you're going to live stream. It doesn't happen. I know with the effort you do put in when you actually do something, it's great. Do more of that. You're right, Isaac. You're right. You're right. I gotta. I gotta make videos for the fans. I feel like if I just make videos for the fans and not the entire YouTube community, that's the key. Is like. Make videos with the fans in mind, not with the haters in mind, not with, like, everybody else on YouTube. Make videos for your fans, and I feel like if you do that, it'll work out. Darn, so we can't change the wheels, unfortunately, on the Patty Mobile. I would love to put some off-road tires on this thing, but it looks like it's not going to happen. Okay, I gotta wrap up the stream. Sounds like my friend might have just gotten here. He got off work at 6. I gotta get changed. 
we got to load up a 70 pound bass amplifier uh, and get downtown here pretty quick. So thank all of you guys for watching. Um, I'll be back probably Tuesday of next week, not Monday. I've got a doctor's appointment Monday and I probably won't have time. So thank you guys all for watching today. I will be back next week. I'm excited to get things back to more of a regular schedule and, uh, yeah, I know it's called the Paddy Wagon. I know it's called the Paddy Wagon. I've seen SpongeBob before in the SpongeBob movie. I know what it is. You know what it is, Paddy Wagon, Paddy Wagon, Paddy Wagon. Uh, try to hit me back on Discord at some point if you can. There's something I wanted to ask you about that wasn't trolling. No problem, Onyx. Okay, um, I don't really have time for like shoutouts even. I'm sorry, guys. Please drop a like before you head out. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. I love you guys. I love your faces. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you guys all back next week. Um, I'll probably put up a poll here for the vlog channel name and maybe just poll you guys on some other stuff. We're going to get things moving in the right direction. Okay, I will see you guys all next week. I love you all. But for now, peace out.